The Great Smoky Mountain Salamander Ball by Lisa Horseman Published by Great Smoky Mountains Association On top of the car roof the camp gear was stacked, and into the car with their suitcases packed went both Sarah's parents with Sarah there too. They had places to go. They had fun things to do. Sarah wiggled and squiggled inside the big car and asked, Are we there yet? Because it seemed far. They were bound for the Smokies, that wonderful spot where hikes would be hiked and fish would be caught. Once in the Smokies, the days went by fast, with hiking and swimming and fishing lines cast. Sarah learned lots about mountains and trees, why some trees have needles, why some trees have leaves. The mountains and Sarah were no longer strangers. She'd joined the ranks of the park's junior rangers. She'd worked hard to earn a nice shiny badge awarded to her by park ranger Madge. Picking up litter had been quite a chore. Hiking was tough, though she liked to explore. But she knew of one kid who'd cheated and lied. He'd bragged about hiking he'd not even tried. And that isn't all. There was more, Sarah knew. He's not just a liar, but a big bully, too. He'd yanked off the tail of a little red newt before it escaped and hid under a root. Then came the night Sarah just couldn't sleep. Dreams wouldn't come, so she tried counting sheep till she heard a strange noise and peeked from her tent and sneaked through the darkness with no one's consent. Poking through trees, she came to a hollow. She saw teeny footprints and started to follow. Crunch! She looked down. A small piece of paper. There in the dark, it had almost escaped her. It seemed to be some kind of fine invitation of which Sarah studied with great fascination. She held it up close to the eyes in her head and started to read it. Here's what it said. Two salamanders big, two salamanders small. Come one, come all to the salamander ball. We'll have a big party, yes, this much is true, with feasting and dancing and playing games, too. Then what she saw, she couldn't resist. She just had to follow. For there in the mist, salamanders busily heeded the call to where she now knew, the salamander ball. They all reached a clearing on top of a mountain, and someone yelled loudly, A ball's to be startin'! A small band of crickets then started to play as the guests wandered in on a fancy pathway. First, a hellbender marched in with great zest, with plans to win big in the ugly contest. Next came a pygmy, the smallest of small. He took a high place. It made him look tall. The zigzag salamanders all zigzagged in time to the beat of a drummer while standing in line. Behind them, the red cheeks swayed to the band, admiring their blushes to see whose was grand. The mud salamander bathed just for the occasion and found a dance partner without much persuasion. On went the dancing. They all kept time well. They rumbled and cha-cha'd and polka'd pell-mell. They'd moved up the mountain in pack after pack. Now there were so many that Sarah lost track. So many colors and so many sizes. So many talents. All hoping for prizes. Laughing and watching from her hiding spot, Sarah saw weird things until she got caught. Two alert newts called out, It's a spy! Sarah stopped laughing and tried not to cry. Everyone froze. This was not a good thing. The salamander ball was a top-secret fling. They circled around her and grumbled and glared. They all moved in closer, and Sarah got scared.